Trisha Yearwood sold Tennessee home one day before husband Garth Brooks was sued for rape. Trisha Yearwood, who has been married to Garth Brooks since 2005, sold her house in Brentwood, Tennessee, Wednesday, just 24 hours before her country superstar husband was sued for rape and battery. A Realtor.com listing for the five-bedroom, seven-bathroom home shows it was sold October 2 for $3,340,000. The 6,553-square-foot property had been listed many times over the years, but did not sell despite several price reductions. It was most recently put back on the market on September the 11th. A local Fox News article states Yearwood, 60, bought the estate back in 2000 and it served as the set location for her Emmy-winning cooking show, Trisha's Southern Kitchen. The picturesque single-family home boasts a chef's kitchen with high-end wolf appliances, a fireplace, and ground pool, and two gated entrances for added privacy. Page 6 has reached out to Yearwood's rep for comment on the timing of the sale but did not immediately hear back. On Thursday, a woman identified only as Jane Roe filed a sexual assault and battery lawsuit against Brooks, 62, in California. She claimed the country crooner made unwanted sexual advances toward her, on multiple occasions when she allegedly worked for him, as a hairstylist and makeup artist. Among Roe's most bombshell claims was the allegation that in May 2019, while on a work trip to Los Angeles for a Grammy's tribute, Brooks booked a hotel room just for the two of them, where he raped her. She also claimed that during a separate incident that same year, that friends in low places, Singer walked out naked in front of Roe, after taking a shower at his home. He allegedly, grabbed her hands and forced them, onto his genitals while saying vulgar things to her. Roe also claimed Brooks made, repeated remarks, about, having a threesome, with her and Yearwood. Brooks has denied the allegations via his rep, and claimed he is a victim of extortion. For the last two months, I have been hassled to no end with threats, lies, and tragic tales of what my future would be if I did not write a check for many millions of dollars. It has been like having a loaded gun waved in my face, the dance, Singer told Page Six in a statement earlier this week. Hush money, no matter how much or how little, is still hush money. In my mind, that means I am admitting to behavior I am incapable of, ugly acts, no human should ever do to another.